Bishop Jakes made a fortune telling men to take the S off their chest. Made, made a fortune telling us, you know, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. Making crybabies out of men. There's nothing now to turn the television on. You see these shows, black man sitting there crying and crying. Making cry. Now, we never bought that here. When, when, when it was popular, uh, I didn't go along with that because, not that men don't cry, but because uh, we do. But men aren't women. One of the enduring images of the assassination attempt against former President Trump is his resilience. How he got up and before he walked off the stage or was escorted off the stage, he turned to the crowd and held his hand up and yelled, fight, fight, fight. That is an image that will be indelibly etched in the minds of a lot of people. And in today's time, when men have been told that showing strength is wrong, is toxic. When men have been told to tap into your feelings, to get in touch with your feminine side, when the femininity of men is the norm, it is refreshing to see someone operate in that old school masculinity. Now, is it biblical masculinity? I wouldn't necessarily go that far, but it is the old school masculinity that men yearn for. It is good to see a man that was knocked down, get up and not be afraid and not be timid. That is motivating. And that is the reason why a number of people, especially black men, are voting for former President Trump because the man shows true old school masculinity. He does. And a lot of people just can't get that. And do you wanna know why a lot of black men in the black community are timid in supporting Donald Trump? You know on my channel, I tell you the truth from a biblical standpoint. A number of black churches have emasculated men to the point to where men don't even know what it means to be a man anymore. I'm talking about a biblical man here. One of the prime suspects, if you will, in making men feminine is Bishop T.D. Jakes. I used to go to Bishop T.D. Jakes conference, Manpower, and I bought his book, He Motions, back in the day. I know a lot of you may not even know about that book, but he wrote a book called He Motions about 20 something years ago that men are supposed to tap into your feelings. It's more of a, a therapy kind of set. See, when black men go to church, they don't go to church to get therapy. They go to church to receive a word from the Lord to help them live their lives out practically. They're dealing with the challenges of the world. So therefore they need somewhere, someone to reinforce the truth of God's word, to reinvigorate them, to go out and take on the challenges of the day. But too many of these black churches, most traditional black churches don't do that because they're driven by emotion. They're driven by feelings. They're not driven by the truth of God's word. And so therefore, a lot of men don't even want to go to these churches because they have made the men soft. And so when you see a display of masculinity, it sparks something on the inside of a lot of men because they're not getting it at their church because of people like Bishop T.D. Jakes and how he has made a mint, a profit off of the effemination and the emasculation of men. I will say this too, and then I'm going to preach. It blessed me in, in, in a day where preachers have made a mint, they made a fortune. Bishop Jakes made a fortune telling men to take the S off their chest. Made, made a fortune telling us, you know, you've been hurt. You've been hurt. Making crybabies out of men. There's nothing now to turn the television on. You see these shows, black men sitting there crying and crying. We can cry. Now, we never bought that here. When, when, when and see, that's that effemination of men. Men should never be whiners. The Bible says, refrain from whining and complaining. We don't whine and complain as biblical men. We stand up, we recognize what is happening in our lives, and we deal with it. We have resiliency. We have backbone. But too many men today don't have backbone. They don't. That backbone has been stripped. It's like someone has stripped the calcium out of their bones, and they're weak, and they're fragile, and they're frail. It was popular. 
Uh, I didn't go along with that because not that men don't cry, but because uh, we do. But men aren't women. Amen. And men don't, they ain't supposed to handle things like uh, a woman. You know. Um, you have to man up. And uh, whether it was President Trump, former President Trump, or had it been President Biden, any man that can get shot and get back on his feet and show defiance and say, fight as a man, as a man, that moved me. Praise the Lord. That's moving. That's powerful. Especially in this day now where men are now painting their fingernails. See brothers in GQ basketball players with dresses on. See, we got purses, we call them man bags, and all these other things. And, and in many ways, we refer to these things um, as masculine. They are, we're, we're watching the feminization of men. And then when you see a man handle a thing like a man, you're almost offended by it. You don't know how to interpret it. So uh, let us pray that God would touch us and vote any way you choose to. I pray that you look at the uh, issues, pray, and let the Lord use you. But saints, we don't uh, celebrate that kind of a thing. Uh, everybody's loved by somebody. Everybody's special to someone. And as, as saints of God, we've got to be prayerful in these times men now more than ever we have to step up to the plate we have to be bold as a lion i'm talking about christian men here jesus was not effeminate jesus was not weak he was meek and he was humble but he was not weak and he was not effeminate he was strong you ever read the account of him turning over tables and making a whip and driving those people out does that sound like a weak man to you but see, that's the thing they've done too. They see this demonic culture has perverted every single thing when it comes to Christ, when it comes to Christianity, they've made strong biblical Christianity toxic and they've made progressive, weak, soft, pastel Christianity the norm. And that's why you have so many people talking about being winsome. How about you be bold in what you believe? How about you stand firm in the truth of God's word? Stand firm in your relationship with Jesus Christ. How about you do that? Stop letting these people make you a victim. Stop letting these people tell you how to live out your biblical Christianity, men. Stop letting pastors convince you and manipulate you to put your sword down. Pick up your sword. Pick up your shield. Pick up your word and fight for your families and fight for this country. That's the only way this thing will turn around because we're not victims. We are empowered for greatness.